and this is another drag race. Let's roll! Here we are, we have a 2023 Range Rover SV. In the middle, we have a 2023 Lexus LX600. And all the way to the other side, we got the 2023 Cadillac Escalades. That's gonna be an interesting race, three row SUVs, luxury three row SUVs in this case. So for today's video, I wanna say thank you to our guest, another local YouTuber from Toronto, Mr. Deep. He's got his own YouTube channel. Uh, we pretty much get the same cars most of the time, <laughs> and this time he's helping us to do a quick drag race. He's going to be the man driving the Cadillac Escalade. Deep, I just want to say thank you. Uh, oh, I've been talking about this for a while. I know you wanted to join for a drag race, a fun day, and here we are. Yes. Anytime, Sam. This is going to be fun. Let's talk about the specs. The Range Rover SV that I'm driving for today, it is the P530. This uses a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. It is Technio BMW engine. It makes 523 brake horsepower and 553 pound feet of torque. It is all wheel drive, but it weighs 5,789 pounds. Now, this one is not technically a three row SUV. This is the SV with the executive second row. So you get four seats in total and a bunch of cool things from refrigerator in the back, special glasses, reclined seats, massage seats. You have all wheel steering, air suspension, all the goodies are in here. We're gonna talk about the price at the end, but next thing I wanna know is the specs of the LX600. Jim, what do we have in the middle, a 2023 LX600? Tell me, what are the specs? Yeah, Sam, this is a 2023 uh, Lexus LX600. It features a 3.4 liter twin turbocharged V6. It puts out 409 horsepower at 5,200 RPM. It has a torque of 479 foot-pounds of torque at 2,000 RPM, which is quite nice to have that kind of torque in a car like this. The transmission is a 10-speed automatic with a curb weight of a robust 5,901 pounds. Thank you, Jim, for that. Uh, Deep, tell me, what do we have for the Escalade? Yes, this is a big one, literally a big one. This is right now the longest production SUV in the world, 2023 Cadillac Escalade ESV. 6.2-liter naturally aspirated V8 engine makes 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of stuff and it's mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Can you repeat that again? What was the weight of the Cadillac? 5,827 pounds. This thing is huge. You got that right, man. It's a massive one. So that's the ESV, so that's a bit larger. But you know what? Looking side by side, it doesn't look a lot larger than these two. So I know the Range Rover is a bit long. Anyways, uh, here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to do first from a dig and then we'll do the roll races. So we're gonna see how the dig goes from there. But for now, uh, let's do the drag race first. I'm gonna put mine in transmission sport mode, and then I'm gonna put my car into dynamic mode. Jim, what modes are you in? Uh, I've set the transmission to four high, and I am in sport S plus. Deep, uh, what uh, mode are you in? And uh, I'm assuming you're four wheel high. The 
Brooks has had a very good launch. We have departed. Come on, Lexus. Oh, oh that Range Rover is just too powerful. Forever gone. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something interesting. I'm gonna get a couple of people in the car just to make it fair for the Lexus uh, and see the difference. Maybe if I get some weight on here because I do make more horsepower than you guys. So if I put some weight in it, maybe it's gonna be a little bit different. What do you guys think? I have executive uh, seats in the back, so this is going to be perfect. Okay, guys, let's uh, do this one more time, but I'm going to get some people in the back of this beauty, and they're going to enjoy the ride all the way through. Okay, ladies, let's go. Fernando, you can go on that side. Here we go. Welcome. To Air Card Legion. I was gonna open the door for you, but that's okay. Wow. Welcome aboard, guys. <laughs> this is uh, Air Car Legion. Uh, I, was, I noticed I had traction control on. Do you want it off or on? I had it on, so it doesn't really matter. Um, Okay, guys, I got in the back here, Mr. Dan and Fernando. Uh, these guys are gonna join me on this trip. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We are ready for takeoff. Are you guys on that side ready for takeoff? Okay, uh, Deep, make sure, make sure you have it in uh, drive mode, not, not reverse. Not reverse, we wanna make sure we get this right. I have two guys in the back, so there's about, let's say 300, pounds of extra weight on is it 300 guys do it more 400. 400 i have 400 of extra weight here uh with these two guys just want to say thank you to fernando and uh dan for joining us on this race uh i am good to go on this side guys make sure you guys are nice and comfortable oh yeah oh yeah right executive baby let's roll let's smoke these guys and we have departed. It kind of feels like you're not even racing, right? It feels like we're taking off right now on an airplane. Yeah. Wow, that's close with the Lexus. I'm still smoking them. Uh, no, competition. no competition. Range Rover, by the way, I don't care how much extra pounds you have, but that is fun against the uh, against the Escalade. Way better. You know what? Uh, it doesn't matter with the extra weight. It won't make any difference. This thing is quick as hell. So. Just want to see how the roll race is going to be. You know what? I'm going to keep the boys here. Uh, they're enjoying the ride in the back. So are you guys okay with that? I just need to confirm with my customers in the back first. Are you guys there good? There we go. They say they're good. We're all good. Let's go. Make sure into drive sport mode. Okay. One. 
two, three, go. Oh, damn, the Escalade. Escalate on a roll. How are you guys doing back there? We have taken off and we're flying. And we have won the race. We have won the race. I mean, we expected this, but even with weight in the back, eh? This thing doesn't care. Oh. <laughs> Range Rover is in a different planet, and these guys back here, they're really enjoying this. So, do you guys give me five stars? I'm gonna yeah. give you five and a half. Five and a half. I got five stars for the boys. Uh, listen, I just want to say thank you to Jim for driving the Lexus. Uh, thank you to Deep for joining us for this drag race and helping out with the escalate i really appreciate that and also to my two favorite customers in the back over here uh dan and fernando for joining us and uh, not being too scared uh being passengers into this thing but what do you guys think about the range rover quiet it's smooth it's just a perfect car to drive around in. it's an airplane on wheels first class they say it's an airplane on wheels first class okay now that you've watched the drag race let me give you a a quick tour and what I think about these three. So on that side, we have the Escalade. That thing is quite a beast. You can get a V version of it as well, which gives you a lot more horsepower with a supercharged V8. We got the LX600 over here. And of course the Range Rover, Land Rover, Range Rover. So which one would I pick out of the three for day to day? This thing over here. I know this is a lot of money. It's quite a lot more money than these two. Actually, you can buy these two together for the same price as one, but hear me out. That thing over there, it's the, it's a castle on wheels in my opinion. It's a lot of money, but you get so much comfort. I love these. And I know some will say this is gonna be unreliable. I don't really care about that. In fact, I don't care if this thing was leaking oil as I was driving and I had to like top it up because that's how amazing this thing is. I'm a big fan of Range Rovers in general. They're amazing for off-road. The ride is superb. I'd rather be in the back of this thing in the executive area for six hours than flying for 45 minutes on Air Canada. That I'll guarantee you. Then we have over here the Lexus LX600. Even this one is quite a beast. Amazing for off-road, amazing on road. Air ride, air ride, air ride. So you're covered in that area. But that has four-way steering, which is quite impressive, the Range Rover LX600. The one that we have for today's video doesn't have the executive package. That means you don't get four seats, you get three row in this thing over here. But you can add for about $22,000, $25,000 Canadian an executive which brings you sort of in the same level as that in terms of the second row. This thing is quite impressive. There's no other performance version of this, so you can get like an F performance with a big V8 supercharger, twin turbo, none of that. This is what you get. This is still amazing. Crazy on the outside with this massive grill over here. Then we have the Cadillac Escalade. You can get the V, but that's not what we have for today's video. This is the standards, three row, quite impressive what this thing can do because you can get a longer version which is this right now the one that you see it's the longer wheelbase this on the other hand you can do a bit of an off-road but it's at a different level in comparison to these two you'll never go wrong with either or it all comes down to the price that you want to pay whether you want the Range Rover over here or do you want a bit of off-road experience yet with that comfort? This will give you that, the Lexus LC LX600. Or do you want tons of room because you have a lot of kids? Well, the Escalade on that case will take care of you. Now, you don't have to buy the Range Rover with the SV package that gives you the executive second row. 
But in my books, if money is not an issue, the Range Rover SV, it's superb. It's, it's one of those cars that it just gives you a different feeling when you're driving it. And I've been driving all three of them back to back sort of this week. And that, in my opinion, is in a different level.